By the way, if you see a little advertisement at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the video, please do not skip it. By doing that, you're helping me a lot. Come on, guys. It's just a few seconds of your life, and it will really make a difference for me. I'm counting on all of you. Enjoy the interview. All right, last. it's time for the funny question of the day. Okay. <laughs> it's totally funny. <laughs> what is it? What do you think about the music by Lions at the Gate? Did you get the chance to listen to it? You know what? I, I heard, you know, very little of it. I tried, you know, doesn't really catch my attention, you know, nor, you know, I've kind of moved on from, uh, you know, from that. Um, all I can say is, you know, I wish everyone the best, you know, do your thing. We do our thing. Um, you know, I, I, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I, people are always telling me that you hear what they said. So then I always say, you know, I've moved on. I'm, I'm really doesn't even uh, pertain to me. And I, I, I honestly, you know, what I did heard, you know, uh, didn't, you know, you know, we left in, in kind of, you know, in, in a very, in a very weird way, you know, when those yeah. guys split and, um, you know, uh, you know, when you, when you start a develop a friendship and a brotherhood, you don't expect these things to occur the way they did. And oh, yeah. just what they did was, in my opinion, so ugly and so, uh, you know, such an act of, of, of such a backstabbing and, and, you know, and then going out there and, you know, you know, making it seem like, you know, you know, they were the victims and, and, and you know, we were kind of abusing them. And, you know, so, you know, that was not the case, you know, it was just a straight up, you know, you know, trying to shake us down. But, uh, you know, I don't know what people were thinking, you know, and I, you know, I hear a lot of sentiments. And all I got to say is this, you know, you do your music, I'll do mine, you know, you want to keep, you know, running your mouth and talk about us. That's your problem. You know, if you don't want to let go, that's, you know, that's your ego. You know, so that's what I hear all the time, you know, about egos. It's not about egos on this side, you know, it's all about music. And it's also about, you know, a strong, unshakable friendship, you know, and loyalty. And, you know, some of us have made that decision, you know, to, to, to stick together and, and, and we're just not that kind of people that would do or treat other human beings that way. Mm -hmm. So with that said, you know, I say, let the music do the talking, you know, you hear what we're doing and uh, you hear the spirit of El Nino that is never left and that will always continue because the spirit of El Nino and that special sauce still lies in the band and that's never going to change. And so, you know, it's time to move on. And uh, like I said, I, I, I don't even really, you know, have an interest in listening to it, honestly. And I might have heard, you know, a couple of seconds and I wasn't impressed. It sounded like, you know, something I heard, you know, from the Dead New World records, you know, when uh, that style of writing was going on. And, you know, when, yeah, I, I think that's what, you know, they sound like if it wasn't, you know, if it didn't, if it wasn't El Nino's input of what the true meaning of what El Nino is to this band. So, you know, let the music do the talking and I wish everyone well, you know, everyone can do their thing and, you know, move on already, you know, you know, live in the now. And uh, I, I try not to ever even bring it up in conversation. You closed out with it but uh, I never really talk about it. But uh, so, you know, it's time to move on. It's time yeah. to move on. And, um, you know, I have no hard feelings. I like who we are. I love my new, you know, the, the band. I love playing with the guys I'm playing with right now. And I think that we're really um, doing, uh, you know, something very special and, uh, you know, to be quite honest, I, I think that we lost a lot of that specialness, you know, in the last several years. So, you know, it may be, you know, it was time to move on, but it shouldn't have been the way it did, you know, with this 
falseness, you know, of trying to paint a picture to destroy the name of the band or, you know, it, it just, you know, it just wasn't the, it wasn't the, the way you treat your family, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'm a little disappointed in that. I honestly have no hard feelings. My life is, my life is great, you know, and, um, and I, and I think that my band is great. My band is greater than ever. And uh, we love what we're doing. And with that said, I just say this, let the music do the talking. All right, great. Well, I ask this because I got the chance to, to interview Christian. Right. And Aru and Diego as well. Right. And the first interview was with, with Christian, like, actually last year in 20, 2020 and I asked him about the new El Nino single back then which was Sangre and mm -hmm. his reply was I hope they they find their way that was his actual reply I'm quoting what do you think about Sangre the latest El Nino single with the with the new lineup <laughs> Well, nobody's asked me that question. <laughs> <Nobody>. I know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, I don't know. I'd probably, you know, they say that if you don't have something nice to say, to just not say anything. And I, 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 I hope they find their way. That's all I could say, you know. And, yeah. and that's not to say that they won't, you know. I mean, All, all it takes is great songwriting talent. That's, that's, that's the first thing that it takes. First, well, technically, first you're a musician. Yeah. And you have to have like some kind of understanding of songwriting. And especially if you can understand what connects with you, then you can understand what connects with people. And, you know, they might find their way, they might not. And all I could say is it. It doesn't sound like they found their way yet, you know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I, I, some luck. I don't. I don't like being resentful, you know. I don't like being the person that is like, "Oh, I'm upset because of this." Did I learn my lesson? Yeah, I learned my lesson. Do I know what to look out for? Yeah, I know what to look out for. Did, you know, am I ever going to be involved with people like that? No, you know. But I'm not going to be resentful, and you know, I'm just going to do my thing. And yeah. he said that in the sense that uh, they are they are sticking to the formula, but with different people. You know, they, they are bringing new guys, but they keep doing the same thing. And you just said the spirit of El Nino is alive. Did, do you think that this uh, matches in a weird way? <laughs> well, you no. Know, I, I I can tell you this that. There, you know, we are, we've always been evolving. And so we're always creating, you know, looking to create something new, not something that sounds like the last record. When I say the spirit of El Nino is this, is, is the essence and the soul of El Nino is still here. You understand? That soul is not going anywhere because that soul did not leave this band. You know, when Dave put this band together, Shivari, Back in, you know, 98 with the original uh, uh, El Nino lineup with Jorge Rosado, um, you know, that spirit, that spirit and that vision began then. And that spirit and vision never, ever stopped, you know, and a lot of people don't realize on how important uh, Shavari has been in, in, in the, in not just the creation of this band, But the, you know, in keeping this band around for many, many, many years, um, both uh, uh, not just on a, on a, as a brilliant manager, uh, not just as a brilliant producer or a brilliant songwriter. And, and he, wore, uh, he wears many hats in El Nino. How is that? He wears too many hats in El Nino, producer, drummer, manager. He works, but you know what? He wouldn't have it any other way. That's how he does it, you know? And yeah. it's a, a, the energy on this guy is just, you know, unmatched. And, 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 you know, El Nino has always been, you know, he's always been the heart and soul of this band. That is a fact. And, and that, never, that never stopped. 
that never stop, you know? So, you know, we are a new rendition of the band and yet we still continue with the integrity of what El Nino is. And, um, you know, but we sound, you know, I, I, I think that we, we sound like we're in the now, you know, and there, you know, why we're having so much success with our newest singles is because, you know, it's just that that has never left. And, and, and the new ideas to introduce a, a, a new style and a new rendition of the band still, you know, sounds exciting, still brings the fire. It's, uh, you know, to me, it's better than ever. So, you know, everyone can have their opinions and uh, I'm sure over time, opinions may change. And, uh, and once again, I will say this again, let the music do the talking. You know, a lot of people love to talk about, you know, what contribution, what they wrote, what they didn't write. At the end of the day, you know, um, El Nino just could never die. And it was always, it's always gonna live no matter what. And uh, De Shavari will ever, never let it die. All right. And, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm there with him and uh, uh, Danny and Rizzo now and, and the new cats. And we absolutely love making music together uh, along with Sarafin, who's been our producer and uh, working with some old cats like Eddie Wall, who still mixes our stuff. Oh, uh, still has a, a big input into into the you know into what we do and how we sound. Um, so, yeah, I mean we are a new band. I can assure you that, and uh, uh, you know we're not just trying to write off the past. We're trying to uh, create uh, new renditions and an evolved version of this band, and uh, that's always going to continue moving forward, no matter what. All right. Well, uh, is there anything you want to add about uh, the new album, the upcoming release, the new tour next year? Immortals. Um, I think it's appropriately titled. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I like it. this ain't going nowhere. It will live forever. So with that said, let the music do the talking. All right. Thank you so much for your exactly. time, Lars. Once again, really looking forward to the new album. And Thank the you. Likewise, the upcoming tours as well. Have a nice day. Bye, bye, man. Okay, my man, suave. If you like this interview, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video with all your friends. Also, very important, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.